Hi guys. First off, I would like to thank everyone for the huge amount of positive feedback I got on my five minute mini musical on Mice and Mystics last week. If you missed it, you can find it on my channel. Now, this week the spacecraft Juno finally arrived at its destination. After a five year long journey covering more than 1.7 billion miles, the spacecraft finally entered Jupiter's orbit. The planet Jupiter, it's pretty great. It is the largest planet in our solar system and is made out of gas so dense that supposedly you can walk on it. The spacecraft Juno will orbit Jupiter 37 times in about two years and will study its composition, gravity and magnetic field, as well as search for clues on how the planet and the solar system was formed. This week I am playing a game in which each player gets to make his own planet. Taken straight out of the books of Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, The Little Prince. This week I am playing The Little Prince, Make Me a Planet. In this game, players make their own 4x4 tile planet. The starting player flips over as many tiles as there are players and after choosing one, he decides who goes next. The last person will get the last remaining tile but gets to be the new starting player. The four corners will depict characters from the Little Prince universe and they decide how you score. The king, for example, would like to see just one rose on his planet and the astronomer will give you two points for every sunset. If you have three trees, you need to flip them over and the player with the most active volcanoes will lose that many points. The game is easy to understand and looks kid friendly, but actively choosing who will get the negative tile with trees or volcanoes could cause some tension. And that's why in my family we house rule it, giving the last player an extra tile to choose from. In our family we love the story of the little prince and this game does the book proud. Check it out if you can find it. The Little Prince, make me a planet. Thanks for watching.